wow, for this problem, there wasn't a drawing of a rectangle. But now there is. For a certain rectangular region, the ratio of its length to its width is 35 to 10. Now, if I want to write that in symbols, I would write L over W equals 35 over 10. If the width of the rectangle increases by seven units, okay, so whatever W was, it's now gonna be W plus seven. We wanna know how the length would have to change to maintain the ratio. Okay, so it's either going to increase or decrease. I mean, let's think about it. I guess it's going to have to increase too. Uh, so doesn't sound like it's going to be a decrease. Okay, so we got rid of those. Now, how is it going to increase? Is it going to increase by 24.5 or by 7? Well, if I just put 7, would that keep the same ratio? I don't think so. That would, that would kind of change it. So instead, I guess it's gonna have to be the only other number they gave me. So it's gonna have to increase by 24.5. Now, that's a little tricky to confirm. We've got our best guess here, but we really kinda should think about how we would confirm this. Well, I'll tell you how we're gonna confirm it. We're gonna remember that the original equation that they gave us is L over W equals 35 over 10. And then if we modify that a little bit to make the change about the width and we wanna maintain the ratio, that means we want the ratio to still stay 35 over 10, then what needs to happen to the length? Well, what needs to happen to the length is it needs to add by a certain amount, and I'm gonna call that amount that it needs to add x. So we're gonna to try to solve for what x is, and let's hope it comes out to 24.5, otherwise I'm gonna be embarrassed. Okay, so how would we confirm it? Well, if L over W is 35 over 10, where I see the 35 over 10 here, I could replace that with a L over W. So then I keep everything else the way it was over here. L plus X over W plus seven equals L over W. Now I could cross multiply. If I cross multiply, I'll get W L plus X W equals W L plus seven L. But I see a W L on both sides, so goodbye, see you later. And now I've got XW equals 7L. But I'm really after X. So I need to divide by W so I can just get X on its own. And the answer is 7L over W. Well, we said it's supposed to be 24.5, but we're seeing L over W pop up one more time. So what we have to do is replace this L over W with the 35 over 10. And now we've got times seven. So now seven times 35 over 10. Well, what would that come out to? Let's just ask Desmos. Uh, excuse me, sir. What is seven times 35 over 10? The answer is 24.5. All right, so that confirmed it. But again, we were able to use our common sense to say, you know what? If the length is bigger than the width, they're not gonna increase by the same amount and maintain their ratio. That's not gonna happen. It must be whatever the other number is. All right, I'm done with this one. I'll see you later.